Howdy neighbors, David here. And today on Boondock Stallions, we're going to be talking about WandaVision. Now, before we get started, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bells and keep up to date on all of my latest content. Sorry I've been gone for the last two weeks. I had bronchitis and it's really hard to talk to the camera for long periods of time when you're losing your voice. So, that being said, who is excited about WandaVision? Oh my god. So, I've really enjoyed the last few episodes. I spent all my summers growing up at my grandmother's house and living with her. We ended up watching I Love Lucy, The Golden Girls, Bewitched, uh, The Dick Van Dyke Show, I Dream of Jeannie, uh, The Beverly Hillbillies, a million of these old classic shows. And if you're familiar with WandaVision and how they're doing their style, it's very much the set of The Dick Van Dyke Show married with the themes from Bewitched, and I'm really, really digging the vibe, and I like it. And uh, also, let's talk about villains, because they haven't really revealed a villain, and I don't think it's so much just one villain so much as there's two, and I think there's a little bit of participation on Wanda's part for what's going on. So, in the show, we're three episodes in, and as far as Wanda having a little bit of control, I feel like... Uh, anytime that reality gets too close to Wanda, like anytime that she is self-aware that she is living in a fantasy world, that she rewinds everything just a little bit and moves forward as if that little reality check never actually happened. Because let's face it, something that a lot of people tend to forget is that Vision is dead. Vision died twice in Infinity War. Once when Wanda killed him so that Thanos couldn't get the stone, and once when Thanos brought him back to life, simply to kill him again and take the stone. So Vision is dead. And Vision being dead means that Wanda has now lost her brother, her family, her lover, and a lot of her surrogate family in the Avengers that she found after losing her original family uh, pre-Age of Ultron. So Wanda is in a prime place to make a deal with, ready, ready, the devil. Now, not actually the devil, more Mephisto. Mephisto is, for all intents and purposes, the devil, but he's not actually the devil. He just allows people to think that he's the devil to kind of feed into his legend and his lore, kind of the man, the myth, the devil. If you're familiar with uh, any of his history in like Ghost Rider and some, a few events with Spider-Man, actually what he did to Spider-Man was really dirty because Aunt May had passed away and Spider-Man made a deal for his soul to bring Aunt May back from the dead and Mephisto made the deal to bring Aunt May back but not really wanting Peter Parker's soul, decided instead to erase Mary Jane and their children from the com timeline completely, leaving only Peter with the memory of them. So Mephisto kind of fucked up. Uh, and then we all saw what he did to Johnny in uh, Ghost Rider. He made the Ghost Rider. The Ghost Rider said, uh, you know, Nicolas Cage was like, hey, I'll make this deal, cure my dad's cancer. The deal was made, the cancer was cured. And he was free to go about his business that his father died anyways in a motorcycle accident. He just makes shitty deals. And right now, Wanda is in a place to make one of these deals. I'm also thinking that Agnes is actually another witch. Not just any witch, but Agatha Harkness. Now, if it's Agatha Harkness, Agatha could be acting as kind of a middleman between uh, Wanda and Mephisto, but Mephisto is actually a character on the show. I'm very much under the impression that the character Dottie is Mephisto. Uh, Dottie already even once caused a bit of a distraction f for Wanda when the radio was breaking through to Wanda, letting her know that uh, they were coming in trying to help her. Dottie breaks the glass in her hand and she bleeds and it distracts Wanda from what's going on. But there have been very vivid red color elements added to the show that I think are hinting at Mephisto's character who would also be that same shade of red. And the reason that I think it's Dottie is because it's the perfect cover. Uh, if you're not familiar with the actress playing Dottie, Emma Caulfield Ford, uh, I know her just as Emma Caulfield or as Anya, which is short for Anyanka from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, where she played a vengeance demon who was also 
a shapeshifter. So it's not really out of question that she'd be doing it again. It's almost like typecasting, but not really because it's been forever since anybody's seen her in Buffy the Vampire Slayer that it's not fresh in our minds. Kat Dennings is coming back to the show. Yes, I love Kat Dennings. I always love Kat Dennings. Uh, so the girl Geraldine is not just Geraldine. Geraldine may be a middle name or just her name in Wanda's little made-up reality there, but she is in fact Monica Rambo, and we've met Monica Rambo before when she was a little girl in Captain Marvel. So they're setting up a lot of these characters to come into play in WandaVision to set up Doctor Strange 2, and Mephisto is an amazing villain of a character. He'd be actually filling some really good shoes with Thanos now being gone and us moving into a new phase of Marvel movies where we need a big bad villain. Mephisto fits the bill. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Be excellent to each other and party on dudes. Also, with all the new stuff coming out on HBO Max and the fact that Jared Leto has been brought back in to film new scenes as the Joker in the Z uh, Snyder Cut of Justice League, check out this video here because that's a really good theory on who his Joker character might actually be. And if you're a fan of Cobra Kai, check out this video here because I am dead certain that, spoiler alert, Tori is Kreese's granddaughter. And I can prove it with science. Uh, anyways, be excellent to each other.